I break down another Vox Media infographics animation in CapCut again. This time we do phase animation. I use this style for the baking bread process. Before we jump right into CapCut, make sure your images are PNG. Open CapCut. First, import your grid background into the timeline. Then go to Basic and turn on Canvas. Choose a white background. Then reduce the opacity of the grid. Add a text layer and press the space key a few times. Delete default text and press space key on your keyboard a few times. Hey Mr. Petty, I can't see anything. No problem Jimmy. Scroll down and turn on the background. Choose type 2 and select blue color and make it a little dark. Set rounded rectangle to 0 to get sharp edges. Set the height to 0 and the width to 100 to get this big line. Make it small and put it in the middle of the shot. We need to press the space key again to make the line a little bigger. Then duplicate the text layer by holding Alt and move the layer up. And move it near the big line. Delete some spaces to make lines smaller. Then scroll down to the background to change the color of the box to green. If you want to put both phase lines in the middle of the shot, select both of them and move them to the center of the shot. For animating them, if you use word animations, it wouldn't do anything on your line. Instead of them, use wipe animation, like wipe right, and increase duration to get slower animating. Increase duration of line layers to get slower animation, and our project is near 15 seconds. Then apply wipe animation on green line too. Move the green line layer to the right side, because the first blue line should be filled, then the green line. Let's check animation to know if both speed and timing are correct or not. Okay, it's correct. Now before adding images, turn on free layer to move layer better. First, import all images into the timeline. First wheat, then grains, flour bag, dough, bread, an image of your crush. Um, sorry, customer. <laughs> now lock all other layers, then select all images, then make them small. Now arrange images from right to left. Change the size of them a little bit to get symmetry in size. Try to have the same space between them. Now we need arrow animation to point and show the process. Let me show you how to make your own animation. First, open a new project. Add a text layer and press the negative key on your keyboard to get a line. Then reduce the distance between characters. Set it to negative 3. And in animating use, type 1 animation. Duplicate the line layer. Scroll down and turn on the curve option. Set the strength to a negative 75 degrees. Then put it near the line to change the shape like an arrow. Then, duplicate it again. Set strength to 75 degrees. I think the line should be bigger, so add some more line and move it to the left side. Let's check animation. Move the round arrows to the right side. Change the ratio to square. Put the line in the right position again, and export it. Get back to the first project and import your animation video into the timeline. Put it between the wheat and grain layers and make it small. But I need a black line, not a white line. So what should I do? Jimmy, do you know? I don't know, sir. Why do you always make me disappointed? It was a test, Jimmy, and you failed. We should invert color. For that, go to the filter part and use negative filters. Now, white area becomes black, and black area becomes white. Now go to blend mode and choose multiply, and white area is removed. So remember, multiply for removing white colors and screen for removing black color. Then duplicate the arrow for other images too, and put them between two images layers. An 
and increase the duration of all layers. And for animating images, use zoom in animation. Apply it to all images. Let's check animation. That's fine. But animation should start from left to right, like line animation. So we should move layers to the right side, like stairs. But to do it correctly, all distances between stairs should be the same to get better and clean animation. I choose 16 frames for between layers. First wheat should be at the beginning of the layer. Then arrow animation should be 16 frames farther. Then continue the process for other images. Let's check the video. Now for the title. Add another text layer, write production, and choose a bold font. Make it small and put it at the left side. Then duplicate it for the second title and write customer. We put them under the line layers because when it reveals, I want it to be behind the line. For animating, choose slide up and increase duration to get slower. And let's check animation. Can you see? Title is being visible faster than line, so we should move the production layer to the right side when line animation covers text completely. And do it for the customer layer too. For adding random animation to images, go to effects part, nightclub, and choose rebound swing. Apply it on all images. Don't apply it on arrows, okay? You can, but it's not cool to see everything moves. Then continue the process for other images. Let's check the result. For color grading, I like to make all images black and white. So decrease saturation and add some clarity. Then click apply to all. Then add a yellow circle on top of the layer. Put it on top wheat to see image in circle to make it visible. Then increase duration of layer. Now use fade in animation and increase duration to 1 seconds. And change blend mode to multiply to see the image under the yellow circle. Move the circle layer to the right side a little bit because I want to see it after wheat appears on screen. Make a keyframe only for position. Maybe you decide to make the circle bigger later. Then move the circle by holding shift and move it to the right side. Then make another keyframe at the current position to hold the circle a little bit. Then continue the process for other images. Let's check the result. To make the animation smoother, right-click on Show Keyframe Animation and select Auto Curve for all keyframes. Now you have smoother movement. And for the ending, use Fade Out. First, cut extra frames, then use Fade Out Animation. To make the timeline cleaner, Select all layers and cut the right side. And most of the time, people ask me why our export and player window give us different results. And because the things you see in the player window when it's not full screen, it won't show you the real result. In this project, production animation starts from down of shot, but I can't see it. If I full screen the player window, I can see it from here. So for solving this issue, select both text layers and create a compound clip. Then in the mask part, Choose a mirror mask and make it small to mask the line area. Now we can't see the text under the line. For adding more details, use hazy effect on top of all layers and animating blur from 15 to 2 at the beginning of the video to get some details to make it cooler. You need two keyframes. The first at 15 intensity and the second one should be at 2 intensity. You can see blur on the corners at the beginning of the video. 
and add an adjustment layer on top to add a little vignette and a little clarity. And let's use some filters on the background to enhance the shot. I'll add the Oppenheimer color and reduce the intensity. And this is our final result of infographics animation inspired by Vox Media. And if you want to learn more videos like this on CapCut, just watch this playlist. If you found this video helpful, like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. And as always, stay creative. <laughs> sure.